Nintendo. Now it's you're for playing breakfast now. Okay. Yeah, we, we both nailed the two slogans. <laughs> Perfect. So the Nintendo's Nintendo's two slogans. Uh, uh play play the game. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. uh yeah, it's a robot. Right. Hook it up to your TV. <laughs> I think that's I think that's the other slogan. Uh, that's what Mario and, uh, says you, all the all the time. Yeah, it's a robot. I think that's yeah. You'll um, be able to check your pulse with this, right? Uh, yes, all the famous Nintendo slogans. Uh, am I finally gonna be able to sleep with Pokemon today? I mean, th- use the Pokemon sleep thing. Uh, both. Mm-hmm. You're oh. in luck. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a all that stuff leaked. So yes, there's a uh, a Pokemon that you can have uh, relations with, and then also which one is um. It? It's a, it's a Snorlax. It's cozy. Yeah. But you get to be the big spoon. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the right size. Uh, we're, so, yeah, Nintendo Direct starting here in, in a few minutes. Uh, mm-hmm. They say they're going to talk for roughly 50 minutes uh, with information focused on available games like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and games coming to the Nintendo Switch in the first half of 2021. The Nintendo <laughs> Switch? <laughs> No 3DS, huh? God, guys, what are we even doing? Um, yeah, so I guess that probably means a Smash Brothers character. I think they're still in the middle of some character pass on that. Uh, sure. Trying to think who who's that? Who's the who's the joke pick for that? I guess it's another Fire Emblem character. That's the joke, right? Uh, what was the last one? Steve. Steve was the last. Steve. One? Sephiroth. What, oh, Sephiroth. 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 Oh, Sephiroth. Yeah, right. Sephiroth. <laughs> Now my kids know who Sephiroth is. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Well, it's, it's all downhill from here, man. Um, it's funny. I I, uh, I forgot in a weird way. So, like, all the Sephiroth stuff, when I was looking at it, I was like, man, that looks like Kenny Omega. Oh, right. Because <laughs> uh, he, like, his finishing move is literally called the One-Winged Angel. It's like a whole, he's a Wait, whole thing. Really? Really? Yes, really. Yes, oh, really. Man, I, I thought... I thought Kenny Omega was cool. He is cool. I don't know. It's, you know, I'm not going to say he's not cool because of that, but it's just like a... Hmm. He has a signature move called the V-Trigger, just like in Street Fighter V. If that... That's, I don't, that's I don't more know if that moves acceptable. the needle. Yeah, that, I don't know which way acceptable. that moves the needle. Uh, but yes, in conclusion, put Kenny Omega in Smash, even if it's at just as a Sephiroth, like Echo Fighter or whatever. Um, uh, let's, let's see it. Um... Yes, uh, yes. Uh, Mid boss first day. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Gundado in chat says Kenny Omega is amazing. He is not cool in the slightest. <laughs> that assessment. Yes, I, yes mm. I understand that. Okay. I think Kenny Omega is cool. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, he's the cleaner. Yeah. He's everywhere. He's on all the wrestling shows. Screw it. Um, he is. So yeah, they're gonna put Kenny Omega into Smash here in a little bit, right? That's uh, or like the Ring Fit Dragon. That. Okay, that would be cool. Kenny that'd be should, cool. Kenny Omega should just be the Ring Fit Dragon. Okay, yeah, a Ring Fit sequel, but it's Ring Fit starring Kenny Omega. Let's do that. All right, and he says good good night after every time you beat a world. Right. Yeah, they took, but they took the gun part out because it's Nintendo. He just squeezes the ring. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I and put, uh, uh, yeah. Put um. We have Ridley. I want Creed. Nobody ever no 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 love for Creed. No one's Creed talking about else. Creed. This yeah, thing's starting. Here's happened? here's Creed. Oh my god, it's Creed! <laughs> Creed. Oh. Creed nineteen. <laughs> oh, for a second there, that that read to me as I was skimming. It's like we'd like to express our co- concern or or like condolences to Corona. Uh, wait wait. It read backwards to me. <gasps> yes. Yeah. It's uh pirate just disappeared. It's the Xenoblades. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Saga? Xenosaga? Yeah, yes. Those are cool pants. I think are that's they? key. I think at this point if you're gonna make yourself a role-playing game you if you don't have cool <laughs> pants you've already screwed up are those even pants 
couldn't find That should be the question you ask when you see the pants. Is are those right. even pants? Big are those shorts the with one long leg? Or what are we even looking at? It was as if she vanished off the face of all rest. Without a trace. Where have you gone? I'll find you. Whatever it takes. Uh huh. And meanwhile, the vape contest. <laughs> Mario. Sorry, Rex. Uh oh. I couldn't tell you because I got an invitation to join Smash. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's all right. <laughs> I hate this. Oh, I thought I was gonna be in Smash. Just sit back and leave it to me, Rex. Behold the power of the Aegis. I feel like if you were a fan of that franchise, you are probably mega fucking pissed right now. Now we smash it with fire. Playing Nova. Rock I remember that being pretty cool. Amazing end. That's genius. You're pretty much owning them, and these are seasoned fighters. I was there are no pushovers. As to why some of them had different accents than others. <laughs> different. No. Talk about a tight spot, Mithra. Let me handle this. Mithra! Cutting it close, huh? Oh, hey, were these guys planning on leaving? Gee, I feel kind of bad now. Coming through! Lightning Buster! Who's on A? Oh, another sword character in her I was gonna say, it's about time they put some characters with swords More in this sight. game. Uh, can is there any way I uh, can lower the bird? That, their audio a little bit? For us? For our feed? Is that Try possible? Right here. I don't know if I barely hear any of you. Yeah, same. Together, nothing can stand our way. Quite the spectacle. What? Oh, it's that guy. I love that guy. Oh man, sounds like Falcon. What a stage in it as well. I'm at the stage. It's me. I'm a dragon man with a, but I'm also a sky boat. Uh, look, some people in the background to stand there and animate like a fighting game stage. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? I'll lend you a hand. Sacred arrow! Unspurred! Burning soul! Nailed it! Sure did! With our power! Shulk? I never expected to see you two again. Not Shulk. Well... Yes, Shulk. Now that you're in Smash, I won't go easy on you! Ooh, fighting words. There's something about the commentary, the, like the, the dialogue here, that like something about the characters in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate just referring to it as Smash, just kind of uh -huh. it's weird. It's just weird. It's great. Shulk Smash. Yeah. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Last the panel year, is that better for y'all? Delivered some news through a yes. series of Nintendo yeah, Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct in this style for some time. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. I have been too high to record for a Nintendo Direct, so we have not done one in some time. Continued support. Okay, what you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Ooh, Pyra. Oh, okay. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles that's series what they meant as by Rex's Smash? two-in-one ally. Please yeah, it's a different to seeing their it's a, it's a video game. Super Smash Brothers that's Ultimate. not what we were talking about with Kenny this Omega earlier either. In March, so we hope you'll stay tuned no. just a bit longer. Uh, no, all right, let's that was a different. With our that was a different thing too. Of Nintendo Switch headlines. Sorry. Fall <gasps> guys in Smash. 
All guys on Switch with a Yoshi in it or something. <laughs> I guess the eggs, that was already in Fall Guys. That's just regular-ass eggs. I think for me, the news is, wait, Fall Guys wasn't already on Switch? That's weird. Yeah, I really just, just about to say. I'm surprised it took this long. Stumble toward Pretty small team. When Fall Guys Ultimate no. Knockout comes to the Nintendo Switch system, summer 2021. Summer 2021. All right. I wonder how that's doing. 22 minutes. Whoa, what? The solar system uh, is hey. destroyed. That's cool. Venture into yeah. the vast reaches of space to uncover the secrets left behind by an ancient civilization. The game, you have game, the game did not run so After hot that, on the, the Xbox One or PS4, the however. System will be hmm. Right. Maybe they'll yeah. maybe it's streaming. Yeah, however, hopefully they. Everything will reset, allowing they, uh, you to dialed continue that exploring in. while retaining information you gathered. Uh, spoilers. I feel like they're explaining the very specifically what the game is in a way that's kind of messed up. These cycles, you'll gradually unravel the mysteries. Yeah, and, uh, you look at the it. wall on your way out, or else you're not going to understand anything the game has to show you. What messages will you discover? Uh -oh. How can you prevent See? the sun from exploding? Why is Wait. the solar system trapped Stop. in an endless time loop? Stop talking. Stop. Find out when the critical <laughs> frame of the You just told us we're good. Summer I'll just tell you. <laughs> Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery Love games. Love to sleuth. I refuse you to like sleuth. sleuth. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Oh, man, you're missing out. Famicom Detective Club, huh. The Girl Who oh, Stands Behind. This? Two deep cuts from Nintendo history are coming Wait. to North America for the first time. Wait, is this remake of fucking Famicom? Like modernized this? for the Nintendo Switch system. Suspense. Drama and twists and turns await at every corner. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game, you'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. But yeah. That's not the only yeah. case to crack. Also, kind of crazy that they're calling it Famicom Detective Club. Here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was it was like Famicom what Tentai Club. Yes, Tante Club. Tante Club, yeah. Rumor after a mysterious death I've never heard of this before. From a sinister nightmare. But Until yeah, yeah, it's like weird. It wouldn't be like Switch Detective Club or something. You know? It's way cooler that it's not. Can you figure out who yeah, it's totally way cooler that they got it. Have these ever, these have never come out in English, right? It doesn't look I like I don't it. think so. They, uh, they ported them to GBA. These were disc yeah. system games. Weird. Weird. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective Club: The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club: The Who's Girl over Who there going behind. like, ah, oh, we gotta bring, second, we gotta bring these games, man. Begin today. You know, this Somebody, system. Somebody won an argument. Yeah, that's cool. The new age of battles begins. I'm not tired of these old the age ones. battles. I'm not done fighting the old ones. <laughs> eh, turn off the old ones. Is it a Musa? God. Don't be a yes. Oh, that's a lot of people. This, oh no! Somebody's turning the Musou crank! A new it's era of Musou. Oh shit! He looks ambitious to me. <laughs> Someone give this these franchises the death they deserve. Boom! I don't know. The latest entry in the Samurai Warriors franchise is coming to Nintendo Switch. Dive Whether you want it or not. Is this really the only the fifth one? The spotlight That's on Nobunaga Samurai Warriors. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Sure. Yeah. Designs and visuals have been revamped for this installment. Unleash high octane moves in electrifying one versus one thousand battles. Wait, one versus one thousand? In Samurai Warriors Five. Slashing its way onto Nintendo Switch, summer 2021. Looks like, am I reading this right? That came out on PS4 already? Uh, I think, yeah, he, I think like, they like, said, seems like yeah, something that would have, yeah. Yeah, okay. After 20 long years, Legend of Mana featuring oh. remastered HD graphics Ooh. is coming to Nintendo Switch. Wait, 
you'll set off on a journey to find the mystery. I thought we got a mana, no, a mana was, collection. Or? That was oh my god. Before discovering that. the world, <laughs> that was Seiken Tetsu three. During your travels, you know, you'll acquire Secret of Mana two if you like. Artifacts. This is the PlayStation game. Place them on the map to break oh, okay. <sighs> This is the, this is the game that came out on PlayStation. I I tried to get into this it's back in the day. Probably was it like ninety nine ish. I'd say. Well how to advance the mm. story? I just I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I played this Join as a kid and didn't know squat was happening. Yeah, it's weird. Quests. It's a bizarre game. Like that whole thing they were showing about like plotting down land masses so you can then go into them and or take a break fight stuff. Adventure. It's it's a weird game. What's Secret of Evermore? Has been rearranged for this that was made in the U.S. kind of in the Ultimate image of Secret of Mana by an American the original team. Soundtrack. Okay, like have been squares added. off going like, oh, let's try making games in the U.S. as well. And then like, oh, maybe let's not do that. That's the one I have. Is that a pocket station? Legend of Mana. Yeah. <laughs> ported the Switch. Uh, June 24th. Or, hmm. Maybe the original game had pocket station support, so they just decided to put it right, in Right, that's why I was, yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I'm guessing. But, yeah, 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 that's, that's cool. This is, just, this is just Monster Hunter, right? That looks like a Rathalos. Yeah. The messed up looking spider. Yeah, yeah. Don't fight thing. That. I don't. Monsters should look like monsters you want to hunt and kill. We've got to get these things out of here. Look at this spider. We can't just let this run around. <laughs> like we got to send some guys out with swords or fucking chain blades or whatever. Like take <laughs> care of the giant spider thing, dude. It's gone beyond like hunting for sport yeah. now. We, we hey, people are dying. Real. <laughs> yes, jump and run on the mud. Whatever you have to do. Elder, <laughs> I have important news. Take this dog. It's, it's a goddamn spider moth. Yeah, yeah. bring this dog villages. with you and go murder this fucking spider. Years ago, Kamuro Village was attacked by the Rampage and Magnum Ballo. Do you think this is in line with the Monster Hunter movie that came out? How can we fight against that? I'm going to say probably not. Hunter's about to face the biggest challenge yet. Well, what are you guys doing? No! We can't lose this game! Pull yourselves together! You're not getting in! Let's go, everybody! Go rampage somewhere else! Yo-yo? You listen to me! Yeah, I... Whoa. Hang on. Wait. What? <laughs> Here it comes! Watch out for the Apex! Do not let it pass! The Rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? Until the sun explodes. Oops. You know what? Uh, well. We should start preparations <laughs> 22 minutes. right away. We're here to offer assistance. We must stop the calamity! Okay. I think when there's a calamity, it's key that you have your like cheers and intros and shit down pat. Yeah. That demo is fun. Ooh. Ooh, look at that thing. Ooh. That was the latest trailer for Monster Hunter Rise from Capcom. How will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay They're tuned done. for the latest installment <laughs> no chance. Monster it's the last Hunter series. Last Monster Hunter. March 26th. 22 minutes. The next <laughs> please take a look at this okay all right i guess <gasps> hell yeah the now we're talking is open once again tee off in the latest installment of the mario golf series coming to nintendo switch cool is this new we didn't know Study about this right wind and yeah no this, this seems I'll, i believe this is new. how long has it been since they made through. a mario golf then <laughs> like a while right i'm just gonna say too long but i don't i don't actually remember what the answer is <laughs> virtual golf. With familiar mushroom kingdom characters on courses filled Ugh. with lush natural scenery yeah he got robbed on that one, man. On the greens, like a shot <laughs> Gets in golf. To see how your shot will curve due to slopes. <laughs> Wait, is GameCube scale, really the last time they made a Mario Golf game? That terrain. cannot be right. Was there a was there handheld? Features. Was like a yeah. can help you DS aim for shots. That might be right. In addition to button controls, you can also oh. use motion controls. Apparently, GameSpot.com called Toadstool like Tour the best GameCube game of July 2003. Gently swing the controller to have your character swing in the game. 
letting you. I like enjoy whoever is doing the the VO for this thing. I hope they are the announcer in the game. Yeah. On top of all Something that, very comforting there about it. Modes with yeah. Elements that truly bring the heat to Mario oh, what Golf, the? What? Uh, he's ice manning. Oh, uh, yeah. Here, it's always your turn. Oh, uh, I like this. Everyone Eat Luigi to death with your club. Time, then you'll race through the course to reach your ball. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole, then keep going. Outpace my life. your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only things at play. Make use of Oh, cool. Now you're invincible on the golf course. You won't die <laughs> from golf. Oh, did it's we a tough sport, Jeff. Yeah, mode? no. It's... As a me character, you'll Look, there's start Goombas out as a on the rookie. Field. As a me character. Come on. Interacting with various Mushroom King Bury characters. the me's. Level What's a me? Get it over with. Points earned during matches. Then allocate points to different stats, allowing you to develop your character however you'd like. You can also use your me in versus play. Put your golfing skills to the test when Mario Golf Super Rush swings onto Nintendo Switch June 25th. Pre-orders begin Ooh, what do you, on Nintendo. What do you think the odds were that E3 was happening in real life? There'd be a, a Mario Golf course. The latest game oh, in man, the Mario maybe. series maybe. has new gameplay for multiplayer modes. As I mean, well if that's the, if that's the only big first-party franchise thing they have. Please look forward to this game yeah, but on Nintendo so I Switch. Say Mario, I don't know if Mario Golf rates the booth Let's theme move on to more Nintendo yeah. Switch headlines. In their eyes. I see he did a golf there. To Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of mm. Pandora in Tales from the Borderlands. Play as the Hyperion Lackey, Reese. Embracer Groot's Tales from the Borderlands. Fiona as you yeah. To recover a mountain of cash. Well, like, yeah, I guess with, with these, Borderlands two and three, these Telltale games just started kind of coming back to platforms, right? With yeah. whatever. Classic Borderlands humor. Ah, yes. Love that classic board. <laughs> just a handful yes. of the obstacles you'll encounter. Tales was good. The, they, they were fun. Narrative adventure. Did you Embark play through the whole thing? Embark on a wild ride. Yeah. When Tales from the Borderlands launches on Nintendo Switch March 24th. Is it is it a good story really that is enjoy, most beloved I enjoyed it. I don't really go in for the Borderlands Switch. stuff, but like Wait, I enjoyed the the, the tale stuff. That's my difficult. question. Like, is it a good Borderlands story, or is it just a good story that happens to be Borderlands? I remember having fun with it. It's been a while. Free. Then purchase game packs or the standalone Ghosts and Goblins add-on to build your collection. Local co-op play is also available. Scratch it's about time they put another version of Street Fighter Two on the Switch. Stadium launches later today. Oh, it's that's not the good Strider. Darn. <laughs> Brains as a zombie. Just oh yes, Dubs. <laughs> this, the news. Fire, and, uh, this is another uh, embracer game, I guess now, huh? Spire. I love the idea that Stubbs is coming back. That like, did I like hearing that news is just like, hell yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And everything is. It's gonna be hard to top this guy's delivery on Brains <laughs> yeah. for me. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Today, sure. Stubbs was the original. Good yeah, Stubbs is was a good, good game. Like I, Stubbs I was, never Stubbs was like legit, assassins. like pretty good. Wait, aliens? Okay. Um, aliens also, if I remember correctly, Earth. it ran on the Halo oh, engine. Is this even the right game? Okay, sure. Anyway, so they should put Halo on the Switch. An entire city, the aliens have taken over <laughs> and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament to decide Earth's fate. Mm. Here we go. Love a good As tournament. As the beam katana wielding assassin Travis Touchdown, you'll need to fight your way to the top to save the world. The licensed soundtrack and hey, stubs hey, that I wonder so if they'll fast. keep. To hmm. enter each boss fight, you'll have to do some odd jobs around town and earn enough to pay off the entry fee. You'll then oh, fun. Face off of against course. The yeah, everyone loves that. Most like, oh, I got to the boss fight, but I didn't need to grind out a billion different things first. Study their tactics carefully. Wait, how did, how did Embracer end up with stubs? With a new and improved death glove. You'll have access uh, they bought a Spire. Oh, I, I actually don't know. I don't know. But that, that Spire's name was on... Was on that are announcement. We, so. Are we going to be asking that question uh, with increasing frequency soon? <laughs> How did the Brazier yeah. Group end up with that? <laughs> oh, because they've been hoarding IP for years and no like a weird, <laughs> at a weird pace. Or, you know, Embracer owns my mortgage. August twenty seventh. <laughs> yeah, Melissa Bond. They bought up all my debt. I think these games are great. Demons in heaven. Please don't foreclose on my life. <laughs> Thank you, Embracer Group. So below. Why do they need assassins in heaven <laughs> to do someone's dirty work? Okay. Huh. Is 
this on rails, you think? It's not on rails. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's maybe not. Be killed. No, it looks it like a if you can't rely somebody's moving around. Mobility around. game, yeah. Mm. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. Very stylish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ben Esposito. Huh. Hmm. Uncover Earth. Heaven's Mysteries in Neon White. Coming to Nintendo Switch, Winter 2021. Wow. The county guy, the right? superhero girls yeah. are here to save the day. Hi, everyone. My name's Barbara Gordon. AKA Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight Nintendo's crime. name was like on this. My batarangs mm. and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision. Plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our Bumblebee. city safe. But we're not oh. just about the super life. We also have our school lives, and trust me, Is that a Harley there's Quinn? never a dull moment at Metropolis High School. Sometimes it'd be nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, oh, maybe take some tank. photos to share on okay, Yeah, Batman Star tank. Oh, right. wait. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Oh, Ooh, no, I don't need social up sweet justice later. media. Not simulators. for you, Jan. Something no, it worked. Really listen, it worked in Spider Man. It'll work here. No one could have seen it coming. But when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We just gotta make sure no one figures out our secret identities. DC so Superhero Girls Teen Power heroically source onto Nintendo. Is that just Switch something about that's got a real vibe of the type of game that just doesn't get made anymore? Ready to <laughs> yeah, that totally. type of licensed game. Yes. It's like, huh, sure. sure. Yeah. yeah. It should be on it's the like DS somewhere. It's like something THQ would have put out. Yeah. Yeah, right. Like something that, like, I, I don't know, I got it from Gamefly. The achievements are easy. <laughs> oh, cool. Huh. Oh, okay. okay, sure. I on like these games. Level. Yeah, they're they're good. They're fine. They're yeah. decent. I'm, on some level, I'm surprised this is still running. But I was sure. going to say, when was the last time EA put out a Switch game? Hmm. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. oh it burn, it, I guess Burnout Remaster came out there, right? Yes. <clears throat> wow, I just had a weird moment where <laughs> felt like I should be in a small room at a press event watching this on a TV. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, you're in a small basement. A small room. <laughs> yeah, I just... Like, I look to the side, I'm like, oh, right, I'm not in a room with four other people watching this on a TV with the table with yeah, water on it. like, three of them taking notes. <laughs> yes. I gotta, I gotta like, write Join notes on this, zomp, this trailer for a game that's already out on other platforms. Otherwise, what am I even doing? Band together on a quest Meetopia. to face evil and save faces. Metopia's coming to Nintendo Switch. This is the cast me characters in various roles across the kingdom. This was the 3DS thing, right? Metopia. Turn your favorite people into your allies, or even make someone the nefarious dark uh, wolf. I have to look that up. That does sound off. Yeah, Metopia was the 3DS thing. In this game. Make me the dark lord. Get them but a game game? It was like All right. Street Pass, yeah, was it? It's, also a it's 40, 40 bucks on 3DS. Oh. Wild with your right. creations sure. Make them even more fabulous. Hey, remember I me? remember people being way it's into this. In the world. Oh, yeah, we're going okay. heavy into the Mies. I remember that. So consider spending some yeah. quality time with allies to strengthen bonds. Dude, I feel like we should escape the world of Mies. Advantage during battle. Yeah. I mean, granted, it is the worst possible time for this, but if they added Street Pass to the Switch... Sour, yeah. Though, things might take a turn for the worse. <laughs> Whoa! You can have a horse as an ally? Whoa, that it's a fucking good. horse. <laughs> you guys seeing this? <laughs> right. You can have a relationship <laughs> with a horse, North. Right. Fervently. It's one Wait, one step closer. Venture one step closer to giving Mario a horse. In the oh, my lord. Yes, Utopia. that's right. Coming the ultimate goal. Switch, Make sure Mario is ready to you ride. Mario <laughs> deserves a horse. <laughs> uh, someone said something in our chat. 
asking if MeTubers were a thing. Super now I need them. Are coming to your <laughs> island. Okay, yeah, I think, we, I think we, we thought, hey, Mario they'll probably do an Animal Crossing update or something. Items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block huh. can be ordered in game as furniture items. Yeah, but he touched that stuff and it didn't make him invincible like. or big. I want to touch the star and then go try to get stunned by bees and then the life. bees die. <laughs> Hang on. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I can work try pipes. recreating the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Good luck. All right, I'll download Super Mario Maker. One for the Wii U. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Damn, 12,000 for the crown? Keep an eye oh, on the official nothing, Animal though, Crossing video. Twitter account. For no, the not at this point, yeah, anyone still playing that game as like... I hope I've got interest on my uh, bank account. We hope you continue enjoying life on it, your yeah. island. <laughs> hope you continue enjoying your life. How was that? <laughs> On your island. These collaboration <laughs> items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Please wait a bit longer for their release. Speaking of which, last week we had the global launch for the Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury game. We hope you enjoy that Mario adventure as well. <laughs> Next, oh, thanks. we have another game to show you. What ideals will you espouse? <laughs> Ooh, latest no in recourse. the HD 2D series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. will high definition 2D. Today. I mean, oh, hey, high definition 2D, sign me up. Like, right? I mean, oh, is this. Wait, is this the path, path Traveler tactics? style? And no yeah. Oh, I'm back on, baby. <clears throat> you are a I'm going to espouse the shit out of this. <laughs> I ain't a spouse of nothing. Today you burn. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. Every last one of us. Huh. Sure do Project kind Triangle of... Strategy. The Triangle kind Trade. Of a, okay. This color fire for this color fire for this color fire. A little bit of a, a, bit of a Final Fantasy Tactics vibe off of this. And iron. The constant feuds among yeah. the nations over these I remember not liking Octopath that much. I hope I enjoy this. Into a great conflict known as the Yeah, put them right together. Isn't every Fire Emblem game technically a triangle project of some kind? Yeah. Caught in a tangled, fiery web of plots and conspiracies, a brave group from Glen known as Plots Conspiracy War. Yeah. Powers that would orchestrate their downfall. Glenbrook thinks that the phones are making us sick. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different elevations. A character's mm -hmm. attack range is determined by their location and their equipped weapon. Deep dive on this one. can be extended by attacking from higher ground with long-range weapons, such as... See that higher elevation? Arrows. Have you Thus, ever played tactical RPG? No? Well, the then. Hand. Let's talk about it. An enemy they just set that house on fire. Yeah, that fire thing. Cool. Yeah, it looks attack, nice. But also a powerful blow from the ally positioned behind the enemy. What have we here? Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. We win. Link attacks together by first casting ice magic on the flames to create water terrain. Then electrify the area with lightning magic. Lightning man. It is I get a shock rifle, I'm gonna fire the alt fire and then shoot the alt fire ball with the primary fire and then they'll all blow up. Chain these together real good. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of situations. 
Utility, morality, liberty. It's the UML system. <laughs> your decisions will establish your conviction, affecting how the story Quote, unfolds and who will your so called cause. conviction. Once more, I would ask you plainly do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? Critical decisions that may determine the fates of nations are settled by vote on the scales of conviction. Use information you've gathered to sway allies toward your favored cause. The story will significantly change based on how the votes are cast. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those of other players. You will see what true might is. Project Will I? Triangle Strategy. Oh, working title. Working title. Oh. Tactical oh. RPG from Square Enix will launch in 2022. Oh, Please be on the lookout for more information. But now Switch games in, in 2022. Future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game. A will demo be version. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well. We'll conduct a survey to gather and a feedback. feedback survey. <laughs> you could win an iPad. Test your conviction in our feedback survey. Spout <laughs> your feelings about our demo. <laughs> on an espousal scale of one to five. Nintendo Switch headlines. <laughs> Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? I'm extreme. What's up, hunters? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. What? Hey. Oh, yeah, I remember Ooh. these guys. Isn't there maybe? a rumor about maybe? If that's what I think it is. Uh, is, this, is this Republic Commando? This sure does. Oh. No, it's not. Huh? That's, I thought that's what it was. Okay. I thought that would be a Republic Star Commando. Of course, there was a Zynga. There was a Zynga. Yep. Zynga logo on that. One. What? Six and seven. Uh, Zynga. This third-person shooter coming to Nintendo mm. Switch in 2021. Mm. Oh, wait. God, I'm not. I'm not used to anybody making Star Wars games yet. That's yeah. weird. <laughs> Think it's just gonna be a constant thing now. Oh, this is this thing. This is the studio that made the Mario AR thing. Uh, a princess is supposed to lead her people, not be stuck up in some tower waiting for a hero. My line of work. Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once, just once, I'd like to catch one of them bullets. You know, with my hands. With this crown, I'm that. gonna lead my team to victory. And I think this is some kind of vehicle head. combat thing. <laughs> they ran it's like a closed Alpha for a while ago. Kung Fu Master, I can catch bullets. Yeah, maybe not a vehicle thing. Right. Okay, I thought... Hmm. It's just dodgeball? Yeah, maybe. There was like a... a story but some years ago saying, hey, this, this studio is working on a game with EA and doing, you know, and, and I want to say they framed it as almost like a vehicle-ish sort of thing, but... What's the... Um... Some kind of like meta game thing going on? I think that's just the. That's just the. Is it they, they're framing this trailer yeah. as. They yeah. Have won the battle, okay. But not the war. Uh, uh, hey, can we redesign our characters? You're not a team if you're not wearing a uniform. Max, this is a war zone, not a bloody fashion show. Pass to me. Uh, what? Interview's over. Come on, man! One more game. Why? Why are there games within the games? So is games within the games. I don't know. They just decided they wanted to make like a Smash Brothers style thing, but didn't want to pay any licenses. So they're like, let's get a guy that looks like he's the Counter Strike dude. <clears throat> and this not quite legally actionable orc like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very close. Comes a fight for your life, literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the twelve of you, known as the Go Getters Club, must now Man, survive wow, this game of fate at all costs. I don't want to die yet. Me too. Wait, was that cheer?
the game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side-scrolling action with suspenseful narrative. The one behind the whole game of fate! As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival begins in World's End Club, <laughs> venturing onto yeah. Nintendo Switch, May 28th. That looks neat. Yeah. Wield the powers of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. <laughs> Hades, the critically dungeon crawler and Finally, something to truly wield in, in your hand. Is getting a physical release. Give me, give me a Switch. cart. This version comes with a couple of extras to assist you on your journey out of the underworld. The first is a PC download code for the Hades original soundtrack. It's packed with two and a half hours of blood pumping music That's composed cool. by Darren Corb. Yeah, it's good soundtrack. Good work on yeah. previous super giant titles like Transistor and Bastion. The second is a 32 page full color character compendium huh. featuring portraits Neat. of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, Gen Z. And let's not forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating. Oh, yeah, also, oh, there's a game in there. Okay. Well. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. <laughs> cool. Three deadly action games, wow. one masterful <laughs> collection. A Ninja Gaiden collection? Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch as the action-packed Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. All right. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa. I am not. Fighting against a great <laughs> evil with battle skills that are second that is, to don't, none. Do not put that on me. Wielding of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different set of lethal skills. I don't remember. Along Sigma is like the ultimate edition. Sigma was like a re-release. Um, so it was black, right? That was a while unleashing like, fast right. and frenzied combos. I and team up with others. My head, I do not remember the differences. Yeah, I got kind of got lost there after a while. All previous downloadable content, including costumes was, this and is, game Yeah, Sigma came included. out after Black. It was in, like, another remake. came out on PS3. Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. I wonder if they're trying to feel out if people still care about this franchise enough for them to maybe make another one at some point. More battles are coming to no, I really love that first Age one. of Calamity. I could never, could never get into any of them. They were super hard, balls. right? Yeah, pretty hard. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of technique. It was almost like a playing a fighting game, but a brawler sort of deal. A lot of special moves. Don't don't like Muso games. <laughs> um. No. Uh, <laughs> so we've got a weird presentation on this. So here's a column of text that you don't have time to read. Goodbye. There's even more coming. Look, if you Nintendo care about DLC Switch. for that game, pause the video and read it. <laughs> Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Four Heroes of Light will soon embark soon. on a journey to restore the crystals. Yeah. Next Use week. the job system to develop your characters and master the brave and default commands to emerge victorious in turn-based battles. I live to fight. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. A new trailer for Bravely Default 2 will be revealed following this presentation. The game can be pre-ordered on Nintendo eShop. <laughs> An updated it's demo final trailer. Available. In the fine print, actually bravely the default three. installment in the legendary yeah. Ghosts and Goblins series comes to life as the brave knight Arthur will unleash weapons. So this is this is just a full on new game, monsters right? Across challenging stages within yeah. the demon realm. Or, well, I mean, that looks a lot like for the first time, help areas and levels from one of the yeah, like game, honestly, yeah. but I can't tell if it's just new, a remake new stuff, or like, transportation or Archie for bridges. It's not, are those burritos or flying burritos? <laughs> no, it's like a weird pig are available now in a blanket. Shop. Just let, let me have flying burritos, please. I need this. Eight protagonists. Okay. Eight captains. Yeah, that I mm, that is not something. The look of that bad in motion. It looks like it's not doing it for me. Not like, like from the makers of Ernest Evans or something. Or just with the addition of the playable protagonist Fuse, 
new gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist, Acellus. Saga Frontier Remastered is an adventure not to be missed. The game launches April 15th. Apex Legends is storming onto the okay. Nintendo Switch system. Oh, right. This free-to-play battle royale features been a growing roster yeah. of powerful yes. contenders named Ooh. Legends. Strategic combat. Apparently, Apex is like really more. big in Japan. So this will probably really, really, yeah. really, really do and well there. Levels for the Season Eight Mayhem Battle Pass. Plus, for the first two weeks after launch, earn double XP when you play on Nintendo <laughs> Switch. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex. Do you know if they're like the um, March 9th. Cross playing with everybody? Like, do you, do you they, get teamed up with so Switch far. people? So they have done. Oh, I don't know about Switch, but I, they did. To show you they have done cross Nintendo play, Direct. but maybe so not cross progression. What's up, what's up with this guy's one colored button? This. Is it supposed to be like a Mario <laughs> coin or something? I don't know. <laughs> Is it an egg? Hello there. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. Oh, man. Oh, we apologize. <laughs> Development is proceeding smoothly, it. and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Oh, more now, information we'll planned for this, this year. year. Please, please, please enjoy our announcement of this announcement. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Majora's Mask. Skyward Sun. appear to be Skyward Sword? Yeah. Well, you have so, to take the controller off and wave it around. Everybody, break out your Wii Motion Plus. <laughs> Is this a good Zelda? in the no. air. No. Waving around like you just want to... One of my least favorites, but I think it, I think they spent so, so slow at the beginning. The tutorials are so long in this one. What you've just Maybe seen is The up. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console, and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. Spent so many years hung up on this whole like, oh man, Nintendo swing the Wii Remote like a sword. Like smoother. every tech demo early <laughs> on, like all this other stuff yeah. was just them chasing yeah. this. The controls for the sword and the shield yes, here, from Red Steel right up to this. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. I was worried they were going to make it playable. Oh, dude. <laughs> Tell me this is not required, though. <laughs> I hope it the is. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. I mean, they have to, it has to be playable on a Switch Lite, the so there's no, no way they can make it yeah. motion only. Yeah, right. You can perform other actions, like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. But sure. we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mm -hmm. mode or on the Nintendo Switch. See, <laughs> now with button only controls. How to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Hmm. I mean, that says button Tilt only. This is not a button. I don't know, guys. To, downward. to swing to the right. Uh, that that seems like a decent or compromise, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Just tilt the I mean, they gotta do something. The whole direction. game is designed yeah. around this. Like, exactly. So much of the game is built around you Here's adjusting something else to we've the been blocks on. and stuff. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Whoa. <laughs> The Congratulations, right you can get just Joy-Cons based on the worst the Zelda game. <laughs> <motif>. Also, <laughs> just Zelda pray they never develop Joy-Con drift. The earliest story in the yeah. of Zelda time I don't know, like, these are fine print. The only ones that never drift. The so like, fine oh, print is literally, the literally, their fine, fine print is like, when you send a Joy-Con back for Joy-Con drift, they won't guarantee they will return the same model to Oh, maybe I'll get Master Sword ones back. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Sure. Following sure. this Nintendo Direct, I, you'll be able to pre-order sixty dollars, right? That's a sixty dollars. Uh, and especially the Joy-Con controllers probably. will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. 
Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last Sucked. original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Many of you may already know this, but this is a bad game. Following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda, however, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair. A stand oh, glide! So shut up! So shut up! <laughs> like yeah, Breath of the right. Wild. Even like, the hey, maybe you don't know this, but um. <laughs> I hope those of you who this game, your okay? precious okay. Breath of the Wild might not have existed, okay? <laughs> Please look forward to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Are you kidding me? No, of course they're not. No. Well, of course, of what course. did you think? We the Legend of Zelda <laughs> Skyward Sword has well, been optimized for Nintendo I Switch. Well, I think the Wind Waker is a pretty good game. intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay, the next game will be our last okay, announcement Okay, we're just today. kidding. Please take a look at this. <laughs> Uncharted. Oh, what this is? Oh, squid kid. That's a squid. Dude. Is that a squid? It looks like a squid kid. It looks like a squid yeah. kind of. Yeah, that's a squid kid. Big single player adventure. Squid rage. What's up, little buddy? Is this Monster little Hunter, buddy. but Splatoon? Is this Fortnite, but Splatoon? Now is you're it, getting somewhere. Or is it a giant action RPG set in the Splatooniverse? <laughs> was that the Eiffel Tower upside? Or the, or the real Abe's Odyssey vibe off of little buddy there. Yeah. We have a smash. I'm getting on the train to go be the mayor of a new town. <laughs> I don't know if I like this ex extended Splatoon universe. This is weird. A fish just holding on to a strap. The world's weird outside the, the battle arena. Yeah. Big city. <laughs> it's like kind of a weird intro if this is just Splatoon 3. It's just Splatoon 3. Huh. Well, hopefully okay. it's just more, else. you know. I thought... Oh, that's, like that's you, you thought looking up in Cyberpunk was good, but now look at this. Right, so there the are three stuff. scales, okay? The one Ooh. is unity, one is of course camaraderie, and squid, and squid. I love it. <laughs> so, sure. presentation for that. Well, yeah, at least like Splatoon weird... knows how to count to three. <laughs> That's right. What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so Back it'll in be a while. We hope you'll stay tuned for more information at a later time. Okay. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo like Switch. Ink of Madness or something, you know, like... And Ooh. we look forward to sharing more Ooh. news with you in the future. <laughs> That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Well. All right. All right. Okay. Sure. I, I am happy that there will be a new Splatoon game. I like the Splatoon games. Mm. I think that, that what they showed... 
looked weird in a way that it was at least intriguing. You know, it wasn't just like, hey, check it out. It's, it's exactly more Splatoon. Like it. At the same time, I think I would have been okay with that also, though. Maybe. Maybe. I really thought they were going in some kind of spin off direction with all that desert right. stuff. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, hey, we made our big grand single player Splatoon game or something, you know? They, they did have that uh, DLC where it was just like a single player campaign. So maybe right. there's more of that also from the get go. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Absolutely. That Mario Golf game looked really good. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of RPGs. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of 2022 games. Right. Like, what does Nintendo have? I mean, Pokemon Snap is out this year, right? And April. Yeah. Yes. April. Um, God, that's it? I think that's it. Is is Persona 5 Strikers coming to the Switch also, or is that only PlayStation? Ah. Uh, you can find that it's coming to the Switch. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, that, you hear that? Is that wow. why I talk? You're no. listening? No, that's that's me. There's that bass. Oh, okay. You wanted that that's bass. Powerful. I'm. Oh, I am all about that bass. Uh, yes, the <laughs> yes, the Switch version I believe is already out in uh, Japan. So hmm. for P5 Strikers. Am I still um, okay? That's better. Okay. No, that's better. Yeah. Wow. Well, I. Yeah, that was, that was a direct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think well, like it's, it's it's crazy that Famicom Detective Club is coming to in, in in English and that they're remaking those games. That's a really yeah. crazy. It's a really crazy thing to announce, and I think that's pretty rad. <laughs> that's a stream um, for sure. Yeah, I like game announcements. Uh, uh, yeah, they're listen. fun. Yeah, Stubbs is coming back, which I think we already knew. Uh, I guess I didn't necessarily know it was coming to Switch, but why wouldn't it? Um, tactics game looked in neat. Yeah, the turn-based Octopath style looking thing looked pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I was half expecting them to say, uh, hey, mm -hmm. we were just kidding about shutting down Mario 35, or like, hey, you better get in some Mario 35 while you can, oh, because we're shutting it down. Like yeah. some, the some the, of... um, the All-Stars, the 3D All-Stars, also going away in, like, what, less than a month, I think? Just about a month. I'm surprised they didn't say, like, hey, it's your last chance to get that thing. Yeah, well, maybe they'll have another thing to say. I, yeah, you know, hey, the last year has been really hard on game development, and, and Nintendo seems to have been hit by that pretty hard. Um, so maybe this is just the continued impact of that. Yeah, uh, plus whatever may, be, may or may not be going on behind the scenes with a new model of Switch and stuff that might be getting held back mm -hmm. for that, perhaps. Yeah, I guess, they, I guess they're just in a weird place, man. Skyward yeah. Sword. Yeah. <laughs> Skyward, Skyward Sword. Sword. If they can get oh, Skyward Sword, I, I would not mind if they got every if every console they just brought all the Zelda games forward. I mean, six dollars <laughs> is a lot to pay for each one, but like, yeah, you know, it's, uh, just bring them all up there. Get Wind Waker HD on there. Should, get you they, know, they should uh, they should put the Wind Waker on the Nintendo Switch. They already yes. did that HDification of it. It's right there. Just put it on the Switch. What bring was the last version? Was there a was there a Wii U version of that or was it yes, three? Yeah. Yes, there, yes. Okay. Wind Waker HD came out on Wii U and it's fine. Like it's in fact it's better. Like they they improved it in some ways and nobody bought a Wii U, so they should yeah. put it on the Switch. They tightened it up the the map stuff at the end, right? Yeah, the Trifor the Triforce hunt is less of a pain yeah. in the ass. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, get them all, get them all in there. Hmm. Um, because they never brought um, Ocarina. On uh, it was only on 3ds, right? The HD yes. one and the yes, Majora's yeah. Mask. I have a. I shouldn't say it out loud. Yeah, I, I have a sneaking suspicion about Ocarina uh -huh. <laughs> that it needs more work than just graphics to be a good Maybe. modern game. I played through right. like most of that 3ds version, and I was like, it's good, but maybe it's you know. It's a, it's a bit primordial by modern Zelda. You know, you can see that they were like working out all that Zelda stuff. You know, like it's not. Mm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, well, they hadn't gotten Skyward Sword yet, so you know. Of course, yeah, yes. Yeah, they yeah. Had not, they had not yeah. reached the you know, the pinnacle of Zelda design. <laughs> what if you could swing the sword up or down? You know, like mm. I, shit. You're right. I don't know. What? If, what if? What if? <laughs> Tell me. What would that be like? Oh, terrible. Oh, hmm. Oh, great. And and also, yeah. Well, I wonder. You know, do, do you think they do another? 
Do you think they do a separate announcement later to discuss like, hey, it's like a big Zelda anniversary? Yeah, maybe. maybe like, yeah. Do they do they do that like, they, in conjunction with like, hey, Mario Thirty Five is shutting down, and now here's here's our like right. Zelda. Yeah. Stuff. Did they did they even say the words thirty fifth anniversary around no. around Skyward Sword? I don't think, okay. they, I don't think they did. Huh. I don't think they did. Hmm. But that's I guess that's coming. That's very soon. So uh, yeah, maybe they didn't get anything ready in time. Yeah. Well, well they, they have the calamity stuff. The the, the I'll say. wait, what are you talking about? The, oh right, yes. The, the Hyrule what was it called? Legend of Zelda Hyrule, Hyrule Fight Warriors. Everyone? Yeah, Legend of Zelda Fight Everyone. That's uh, the one. <laughs> hmm? Hades huh. is coming out uh, on the cart. Physical. Yeah. You can you can yeah. taste Hades for the first time. Mm. This is always the uh, danger of streaming over a Nintendo Direct. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> no, I look. That's I'm. That's why I'm here, man. Um, that neon white game looked neat. Yeah, that looked cool. I didn't get the sense of if that is happening all in real time, and you have to keep up with your card selections, or if it was maybe more of a turn based. Like maybe the you know the person playing the demo was just very fast at it, but maybe <laughs> you actually have time to like kind of think about it a little more. I don't know. It's an interesting concept. I'm going to assume yeah. that that's like a, that game originally they wanted to call it Leon White and have it be the uh, the wrestler Vader, Big Van Vader, but couldn't get the, the rights uh, Up and had now, to go maybe. with Neon White. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but I don't uh, know, that, that looked neat. I guess depending on if you move or not, and if that game is on rails, then I don't... Or maybe it's run based and you build a deck for the encounters or something, or like you know maybe you're you're building it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, may watch that trailer again to see what the hell is happening. It was pretty fast. Yeah, I don't know. Like some some promising and interesting stuff around the the edges there, but I you know when you say hey we got a Smash Brothers thing and stuff that's coming in the first half of the year and you look at it and you're like. Ah. And then, and then you say Splatoon well, three not out this year. Yes, and then, right. Hey, what do you got this year? Oh, we got Skyward Sword HD. Like that <laughs> makes you think that yeah, like hey, that hey, maybe this year is going to be pretty weird on the Switch. Could be, but you know, I mean, um, you know, like su- supposedly E three is happening. Like maybe they're holding stuff back for that timing. Could mm. be, yeah. And you know, hey, a Zynga Star Wars game, of course. <laughs> yes, what? What? Zynga, Zynga. Maybe if they, hey, you know, maybe if they rip all that motion control crap out of Skyward Sword, it'll be, I mean, it'll have to be a better game. Maybe not a good game, but it'll, it'll have to be a better game, right? So, Easier to play. So maybe, maybe I'm yeah. misremembering, but man, I remember the tutorializing in that. It was the first time I, I remember playing a game and be like, they should have an option that is just go get, go get this cat. And if you do it, you're done with the tutorials and that's it, right? Like, it's just like, you, you know how to jump, you know how to do everything, but you're, you're good. You know how to duck, you know how to crawl, you know how to jump, you know how to swing a sword and you're good. You got the cat, you brought it back. But I just remember that thing being like, you know, it'd be five minutes and it'd be like, oh, now we're going to teach you how to duck. And it's like, oh my gosh, we need to move on. That's the thing is like, if, if they're going to redo that for button controls, then maybe there's a version of that tutorial maybe. that doesn't have any of that crap in it. Maybe. And you're just like, hey, yeah. you know how to play these games. The, here's the difference. Use the right stick to swing. <laughs> also, you can use a button, but you're not going to do as well unless you, know, you use the right stick or, or something like that. So yeah. it's a strange. It's, that's a way that's a way to go. Also, like having that coupled with the information of like, we will have more information on the next Legend of Zelda later this year. <laughs> As a real like that game's definitely not out this year, which I you know, you know probably not a huge surprise, but um, but it does filter into just that that larger feeling of what do hey, they what, have? Uh, what do they have? Who Sounds not? like not much. Uh, someone in chat said Star Wars Hunters is actually already on mobile, so that's just a mobile port mm. to Switch. Okay, uh, why not Bayonetta why three? Not? Maybe this year? Maybe I maybe. don't. I don't, I don't think, think it's that's... ever coming. I don't think that, yeah. New F Zero this year. Okay, sure, this year. sure. I would. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have. I have. I have desired a new F Zero for quite a while. So sure. New pick. Why not? Uh, it's a Pokemon anniversary yeah. this year for the twenty fifth. Maybe they'll have a separate direct for that. Remaster one of the old games. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Could be new F Zero, but you can get out of the car and there's oh. a Ooh, oh, there's like a upgrade your your you know those characters are always super interesting what was the 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 samurai samurai, samurai goro is going to get oh, out tear right. it up 
Yeah, I want to figure yeah. out how he gets in that car. I want to see him get in and out of that car. I want to I want to go eat with him and like uh, hang out like persona style, and then we race at the end of the day, fall on the TV sure. and race. Sure. Listen, Nintendo. Sure. God, how about a, a new waiver? I said the words wave race today. in the last seven days. Yeah, and again right. today, about, last Friday, and again today. Why not a new wave, wave race? Why not, why not a new wave race? Make more why racing not? Nintendo. Why not? Why not? Combine wave race and pilot wings and then and f- figure it out. Wave Put wings. Them together. Wave wings. Jump out of the okay. plane on a skidoo. And at some point, that's just Diddy Kong racing, and we don't, no one wants that. <laughs> no one wants that. Uh, all right, well, I think that's going to do it for us here at uh, Nintendo headquarters over here at IGN64.com. Fun, fun, yes, the fun club headquarters here. Yeah. Over here at Howard Phillips' house. Uh, mm-hmm. I, the house that really Howard Phillips built. Let's start calling let's, Nintendo that. I was hoping for some more games for the Nintendo serial system, but... Well, maybe... Better luck, you know, better luck next time. You know, serial is more of a summer thing. That. The Howard and Nestor comic. There's a right. Look deep in there. Nest, you Nestor? What you're Bring for. That, put Nestor in a game. Like put Nestor in Smash. Yeah. 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 In conclusion, sure. Put Nestor okay. in Smash. Yeah. Thanks everyone for yeah. watching with us. Uh, Beastcast is up tomorrow. If you're watching this live, uh, we got. Hot spot on Friday, all that good shit, mm-hmm. y'all. Mm-hmm. So, uh, mm-hmm. thanks mm-hmm. for hanging out, and we'll see you next time.